In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a really long or a really wide SPSS output table and force it to fit one page without wrapping. Here's an example of the problem. This is an independent samples t-test table. And you can see that the table is too wide to fit one page without wrapping. And that's a waste of space. It's also more difficult to read that way. And I'm often printing out results and then sharing them with my students. And if it's more difficult to read, it's just harder for them to understand. So let me show you how to do it. First thing I want to do is get out of the print preview mode. And we always need to start with an existing SPSS output table. So if we double click on that, we can enter the edit mode. Once we're in the edit mode, we're going to want to edit the format of the table. And specifically, we're going to want to edit the table look. You'll see you've got lots of different table looks that you can click on. We're going to want to take the table look that's the default and edit it. There are lots of different options that you can select among these tabs. I want to select the options that have to do with printing. And specifically, I want to rescale a wide table so that it fits on one page. So go ahead and click OK. Everything's fine, but so far what we've done is just change that one table. And if we want to change the tables going forward into the future automatically, we're going to want to save the changes that we just made to that table look file. And what I'm going to do is actually create a new table look file. So I'm going to click on Save As. And it doesn't really matter where you save it, but I'm going to save it in my user folder in the SPSS subfolder. And I'm going to give this new table look file a name that I'll recognize. I'm going to call it Fit Wide and then save it. Go ahead and click on OK, and then close the pivot table edit mode. At this point, the changes that we've made should take effect. So go ahead and click on Print Preview, and you can see now that one SPSS table that was really long is forced to fit on one page without wrapping. The problem, though, is that the change we just made affects that one table only. We need to do one more thing so that we can change all the tables going into the future. So go ahead and close the print preview. And now go to the edit menu so you can select on the global options. There are lots of different options that you can select, but we want to select options having to do with pivot tables. So click on the pivot table tab. And we want to change the table look. And we want to find the table look file that we just created. So click on browse and we'll have to find that file. I put it in my user folder and specifically in the SPSS subfolder. There it is. It's called Fit Wide. I'm going to click on that and say Open. At this point, I'm going to tell SPSS to apply that change and I'm going to click on OK. Just to make sure that it's working, let's go ahead and select everything that's in our output window right now and delete it. And let's rerun that t test. So now we're going to have a new t test table in our output window. And if we've done this right, when we click on Print Preview, we should see that that wide table is forced to fit on one page without wrapping. And that's exactly what it's doing. So that's how you can automatically resize very long and very wide tables for printing purposes. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.